I'm Zach Wilhoyt. I'm a science teacher at Shortline uh, Middle School in Wetzel County, West Virginia, and I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade science. So how I used it last year, I tried to take concepts that kind of follow flows or cycles. I essentially just provided the kids with vocab words and they had to do online research to see what the vo vocabulary words meant and where they kind of fit into the cycle. And then they would ask me questions to kind of guide them through if they got confused. I started them off uh, individually um, and then saw how that went. And as they kind of started to struggle a little bit and when they kind of started to get frustrated, then I combined them into groups to work together and that alleviated some stress and they got a little bit further. And I was just kind of there to guide them through the process and make sure that nobody was having fundamental misconceptions and big mistakes. But for the most part, they guided themselves through the activity I planned out for them. I provided them a NASA website that they had to search through to get facts about each of the planets. I combined them in pairs at first uh, just to kind of collaborate on how to design it. And there are a lot of different designs. People use more arrows, less arrows, more of like a flow versus some people use it more of like a poster board. So that was kind of neat seeing the variations. We essentially just used that NASA website to pull facts and then just as a class got up and presented everyone's planet and facts about it, pictures. Again, it, it, it kind of took like a pretty typical um, in-class activity of doing that. You know, you just pull facts about the planets and go through them in some manner, but it just kind of streamlined it really nicely, in my opinion. And the kids really enjoyed using Lucid to do it as well, because like I said, it's, it's so easy that they can spend more time being creative and less time worrying about how they're going to do it. I personally found Lucid to be extremely simple and just very streamlined. I mean, you drag a box, you add text, you add an arrow. You can add pictures right there. You know, I could have students working together on opposite sides of the room where they can't talk to each other, but they have to, you know, type to communicate with one another. Because as they get older, they might not be working with someone that they can just talk to. And... The fact that everything, it's like a, an endless board as well. So, you know, if we really wanted to, we could have the entire class, classes, uh, water cycles all on the same board to move around to each, each person's as a class afterwards and discuss, uh, you know, the positives and negatives to each one. I mean, there's just like endless things you could do with it. I just think it's like a super simple, easy way to get kids to work together that they enjoy doing. You can have the entire class working on one. You can have individual. It, it's it's anything you want to make it. That, that's why I like it. <laughs> I'm definitely going to incorporate it a whole lot more this year. That's for sure.